have uh, 461. Then we're going to have the sales commission and the uh, sales salaries, which we're going to bounce back to the selling and, and expense budget. So here's the sales commission, the sales salary. We could have combined them into just selling expenses here, but we're going to break them out in our cash budget. So we broke those out separately. Here those are there. Then we're going to have the general and administrative expenses. Once again, we're going to jump back to our step seven where we calculated the general and administrative. We're going to look at the salaries. Later, we're going to see where that note is calculated as well. Okay, so there is our general and administrative that we pulled over. And then all this other stuff are going to be other areas that we haven't put a prior budget to. One's going to be dividends. Are we going to pay out dividends to the shareholders? And we're going to have to make an assumption on that. We have the loan interest here. So we have two loans out at this point. We're assuming that the interest rate is 0.01 for a month, you know, not a yearly interest rate for like a monthly interest rate. So we're saying this 12,000 here, 12,000 times 0.01. That's where this 120 is. We're paying 120 cash on that. And then we've got the uh, loan of 500,000 times 0.01, which we also saw on the general administrative expense. And so there's that uh, that 5,000 there. Purchase of equipment. We don't have anything in July that we're estimating, but that's another thing that we'd have to think about. Are we purchasing equipment for cash, the cash portion of the purchase of equipment? Anything that we financed, of course, wouldn't be on the cash budget. Okay, so then if we added all this up, I won't do the calculator, but if we added all this up, we would then come out to the cash disbursements of the 4, 427 